Step inside and rest your weary bones, friend. Make yourself comfortable, for our masterpiece be nigh ready to safeguard your precious gold. Just two steps remain in this grand endeavor, and today I'm fixing to attach the hardware, bringing it to its full glory. Before ye proceed, ensure you've got the hardware that tickles your fancy, whether it be the most ornate or the humblest of sorts. Remember, it's all about what pleases your own dwarven heart, for this here treasure belongs to none other than thee. Make it yours, through and through. I've just completed fastening them feet with their dainty screws, and next up, we'll be pounded in those brads. Now, if you be wondering why they're not named Georges or Roberts, well, it's because Brad draws its lineage from the old English word broad, signifying a wee slender nail. These brads are specifically forged for tasks where you must be securing something without carving a cavernous chavern or scaring the wood with a conspicuous mark, mind you. The secret lies in grasping that brad with a firm grip. I prefer to use me trusty needle nose pliers. Then, with a hearty swing of the hammer, give it a resounding whack. In case you be curious about the next endeavor brewing in me workshop, I'll be setting me hands to craft in a mighty functional mystical wizard staff. And if you could say all of that in one sentence without messing it up, you're already halfway there. Now I'm near the end of attaching these hinges with a sturdy dwarven touch, and soon enough we'll be setting that robust dwarven crafted lock firmly in place using the very same tried and true techniques. When fastening that lock onto the chest with screws, it's of the utmost importance to ensure it's rightly aligned. This way, you won't bar the wood by having to undo and reposition it in its rightful place. A mistake like that's not worth a single dwarf's tear. And there you have it. I'll be seeing you again shortly for the final steps of our grand endeavor.